For the first example, um, we see that we're working in radians. The trig function is not the subject at the minute, so we need to divide through by 2 to make sure it's on its own before we start. Your calculator doesn't have a cut button, so we take the reciprocal. We're now in a position to use inverse tan on the calculator, so shift tan of 2 fifths gives us 0 0.381 radians. Now we look at the range of values. So we need all solutions in this range. So I'm going to start with a cast diagram. And I know that tan is positive, so I'm going to select those quadrants. There we go. And draw my angles in there. They are always made with the x-axis. Now we know that we're going from negative pi around to positive pi. So I need to find this negative angle and that positive angle. So we've already got the positive angle. To get this negative one, we do negative pi plus our 0 0.381. So we'll add negative pi and that gives us negative 2.76. Okay. Right, you might be a graph person, so I will just draw a little tan graph. Okay. Okay. Then we need to look at where it intersects two fifths, y equals two fifths. So I'm just sketch sketching on a two-fifths. We can see that we're intersecting here and here. Okay, now we know that this is 0 0.381. So we know that this width by symmetry is the same as that width. So we can do negative pi plus 0 0.381. Now, if the question didn't say determine or show detailed reasoning, then we can use the calculator to work out our answers. So we've got two ways to do it. If we are in run mode, we're going to go options, calc, and then solve n. Now we type in the equation. So the equation is 2, and then cot is 1 over tan. So I'm doing 2 over tan x. Okay. Then we do shift decimal point to give us equals, um, and then we want 5. Comma, what's the variable called? We've called it x. And what's our range of values? Negative pi, and our maximum value is pi. And then we execute and wait for a moment. Okay, it always says this. There may be more solutions, but we do exit. Okay, and there we go. We've got negative 2.76 and 0 0.381. So that's a good reassurance. The other way to do it is to go to the graph mode. I'm going to type in the graph of 2 cot x. So yet again, we have to do 2 over tan x. Okay. And the graph of y equals 5. And we want to see where these intersect. So I'm going to go to my view um, window at the moment to make sure that I'm in a trig format. And that should hopefully be okay. I know my y's have to go past 5, so I'm going to change my y maximum. Uh, instead of being 5, let's have, I don't know, 7. Okay. Right, let's see what that looks like. Okay. Um, it's a little confusing. Again, I'm going to change my x min and max to go from negative pi up to pi. So I'm using the range of values that we need. OK, so now we can see that the graphs intersect. So I'm going to use G solve and intersect ISCT. OK, and we're told that the first answer is negative 2.76, which is super. 
and we press the arrow to get the next one is 0 0.381.